Hi guys, Chef Kevin Dalton here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, today, for all you meat lovers, okay, this is gonna be a good one. We're going to do a center cut loin of beef, all right? This, look at this piece of meat. Now, what I've done, okay, see, look at this backside. You know, there's gonna be a little bit of a fat cap that you wanna trim off, and all I've done is seasoned it with salt and pepper. Now, in my pan here, I have it heating up, getting really hot, I have a little vegetable oil in it, and what we want to do is seal it off, okay? So this is what we want to do with any roast. Put it in, you can hear that pan is really hot, you can turn the fire back up a little bit, and we want this to sear. Now, we're gonna to try to sear all the sides, all right? as that goes. Now, while this is searing off, let's start making our sauce that's gonna go with this. So, in the pot here, I have, let me stand this back up. Come on, you can stay up, stay up, stay up. I'll pop you right there to keep you up. A little butter with some shallots. If you've never used shallots, Shallots are, are like a mild onion. I tell you what, they're great. They have a great, great flavor. And I just want to get this sauteing. Just let this saute down a little bit. They don't have to get translucent like when we normally saute onions and vegetables. They don't have to go that far. Let's take our roast. Turn it down. See how we've got that sear? That's what we want. Now, some folks take long to do this, okay? I only like to do it just a, just a little bit on each side, just enough to seal it in. So let's go ahead and finish working with our shallots here. Now, into our shallots for this sauce, I have some fresh rosemary, fresh thyme. I'm sorry, I said rosemary again because I had rosemary on my mind for something. I was picking some earlier. This is thyme. And you notice, I'm just going to put the thyme in whole. All right? Just get that down in. Let that get heated up a little bit. Now, let's get some seasoning in here. For seasoning, we have black pepper, a little garlic, a little salt, and a tiny bit of sugar. About a tablespoon of sugar. So we'll get that seasoning in. Give this a nice stir. Now, to this party here, let's get in some red wine. That's about a, about a cup and a quarter of red wine. I had taken three shallots and cut them up. There was about yeah, five, six tablespoons of butter. Three cups of beef stock. Now, here's what's going to happen with this. I want this to cook down to where it starts to thicken, okay, and reduce, all right? Let me take our meat. Let me go this side for a second. All right, stay up, stay up. We want this to come to a boil because this is gonna reduce, okay? We want it to reduce by half. Now, here I have some softened butter and a little flour. I'm just gonna take some of our flour, put it with our butter, and just kind of make a, a slurry. This is basically like a roux, except we're just doing a little butter and flour. So you see, once our sauce reduces, we'll put this into our sauce, and that way our sauce will get nice and thick, okay? All right, so this will come to a boil. Let's turn our roast and get ready to put it in the oven.
There we go. Now I have the oven at 400 degrees. Now, depending on the temperature inside, whether you like your steaks medium, whether you like a medium well, well done, for medium, this should get inside to about 125 degrees. If you have a canning thermometer, I mean a, a cooking thermometer, 125 degrees. Now remember, when you put it out in the oven, it's still gonna cook a little longer. That's why you wanna stop it at 125 for medium. Of course, you can go longer than that if you want it a little more done. So let's get this in the oven, our saucer reduced, and I can't wait to show you how this is all gonna come out. I just took our roast out of the oven. Now, I got it to an internal temperature of 130 degrees. Remember, that's with the thermometer. It's going to continue to rise another five degrees because I wanted a nice medium, okay? Now, I've tinted it with foil to keep it warm. The pan I just put out of the oven and it's really, really hot. So I'm going to take just a, a little bit of beef stock and I'm just going to work the bottom of the pan to get these. Remember when we browned it off? This just gets these little goodies up off the bottom of the pan, all right, when we browned off our roast. So I just want to get this, you know, this is like what they call deglazing. Now remember, this pan is hot because it came out of the oven, all right? That's what we want, and look at our sauce, how that's cooking down. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take our sauce that we just deglazed, pour it into our sauce here and combine the two. And by that time, this will have been rested and I'll get ready to cut it to show you how it's gonna look. Tell you what, gang, it is so simple and easy to do this. Come take a look. This is what I was talking about, okay? Remember, you can always cook something longer, all right? So I did this to a nice medium. I sliced it. Look, I put some of our gravy. Look at the shallots that were cooked down on top of that. I took out the thyme, all right? But they got little pieces of thyme that came off the stem, all right? And look at this. Now, if someone wants to cook longer, go ahead and slice a piece, saute it in the skillet. That'll cook it longer. But you know what? I tell you what, I think medium is absolutely perfect. So this would make wonderful for a family meal. And think about this, you know, if you've never cooked a big piece of meat like that, Seal it off first. Put the seasoning on it. Get it sealed off in the oven. Only takes about 15 minutes. All right? Try this recipe. I think you like it. Thank you so much for cooking with me today. Keep washing those hands. Keep your family safe. For WWL, I'm Chef Kevin Belton, and we will see you soon.